There's some more salmons right here. And on the right side are the cooler ones. Hey guys, welcome back to the J Rue Productions YouTube channel. Today we're going to take an exclusive look at these awesome Adidas the Ramo slides that I purchased from my loco Ross Dress for Less. Another pair of great deals on shoes. What's up guys, I'm in Ross Dress for Less looking for a pair of slippers, sandals. Eli's right here, not the right size. Ooh, but this Adidas one looks pretty nice. It's only $13.99 too. Basically what I wanted was another slide in case I have to wash mine or the one that I have is gets dirty. Let's take a look at the price. I paid a ridiculous price, only $13.99, even though it says it's comparable to twenty dollars. Check you. You guys are not believe it because I looked on Amazon and they're charging twenty nine ninety five. Sure, they have more colors to choose from, but you get the same product for you know probably like the the least popular colors. But they also have the all black ones, so I decided to get these black and white ones. Let's go ahead and cut this up. No, it doesn't come in a box, but who needs a box? I mean, just extra, you know, recycling to do. There's just the Ramo, size eight. Now, I typically wear size nine, guys. If you guys remember that I reviewed these Adesach slide that I purchased from Amazon, like December last year, 2017, I paid like $22.24. Um, it had, contains these weird grooves, massage grooves designed on there, and I'm still using it. It's still working fine. But the thing is, this has a bit of a velcro that you adjust where this one doesn't. But if you compare the two sizes, it's kind of weird, guys. The size 8 versus the size 9 is almost like the same size. So make sure you uh, try it on because it's almost the same. I can fit in a size 8 and a size 9. So that's pretty weird, isn't it? So let's go ahead and take a look at this the Ramo slide. As you can see, it's got grooves built in. Got Adidas logo down here. Three stripe life. You got the Adidas logo on the side. On the bottom, it's uh, non marking, but it can get pretty slippery. So if you go outside in the snow or ice, you gotta be careful of that. Adidas logo right there. It's pretty much straightforward, pretty much lightweight. It's made of synthetic sole, contains injected lightweight EVA. So let's go ahead and put these on and see how it feels and looks, guys. Oh, yeah, and check out these awesome. Adidas Roundhouse mid basketball shoes I got for a ridiculous price of where's the price? Markdown $24.99. Sometimes you find clearance items. These are awesome black and purple. Look at how awesome these are. Check me out at jruproductions.com. That's the link. It's my brand new website where I'll be featuring hauls from my YouTube videos. And you can purchase this pair of shoes on this website. All right, guys, let's go ahead and remove the added slides. I guess I'm getting used to with all these massage points. And put on the Duramo. Oh, first thing I've noticed is something bumpy right here. It feels a little bit slippery when you slide it in because it wants to kind of like move around a lot, but it's, it feels wide. It's got a soft touch to it, even though it's hard plastic. There's a bumpiness right here, built-in groove. That seems a little bit awkward. You see that little groove right there? It's kind of like built into where it adjusts for that, that emptiness of the heel, that hump, you know, the missing arc. It's kind of weird, but it's also quite flexible. So it gets some taking used to. It's not bad, guys. Yeah, other than that hump, it just feels weird. But like I mentioned, it's compressible. Other than that, it's comfortable. I mean, it looks it looks real nice for the ridiculous price of $13.99. Go ahead and go to your local Ross Trust for less. Uh, they might have these in all the stores. 
Now, how is it compared to the other surge? The other surge consists of these weird massage grooves, like I mentioned. It's gonna take like one month to get used to, otherwise it will feel kind of irritant, irritating a little bit because your figure not adjusted to all these little tiny grooves. This one feels a little bit more cooler and um, softer, but that hump kind of throws me off. You gotta admit the top one looks a little bit better, a little bit sexier, but the bottom one, slider weight, feels foamier, where the top consists of the Velcro that you can adjust to your feet accordingly. I mean, it's not bad, $13.99, you definitely need it in your shoe collection as an extra pair. So, what do I give it? All on a scale 100% compared to the other side, I am gonna hook this up, taking into consideration of the price, right? I'm gonna hook this up with a 82%, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to support my channel by clicking on the like, comment, and share button. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your feet.